Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this special figure showcase and review, we're going to be looking at the 1990 Japanese exclusive figure, Metro Titan. So, what we're going to do with this video in a second, we're going to unbox him live and have a look at the entire contents that come inside the package. We're then going to have detailed looks at him in all of his modes. He's got quite a few, he's got your standard three and then he's got a powered up robot mode, which I'm going to show you. I'm also going to show you how you can combine him with the other Scramble City leaders to make a giant base. We're going to do some comparisons with him and Metroplex and Metroplex's accessories. But before we do any of that, we've got to have a look at this beautiful box at the artwork and the brilliant play scenes that they've set up on it. So for those of you who are unaware who he is, as I say, his name is Metro Titan. He is the Decepticon or Destron version of Metroplex. And in Japan in 1990, they still were continuing with their own, I suppose, stories with Transformers. And although it was only one episode, they did actually have a cartoon as well of Zone. So you can see his reference number here is D340. And that D stood for Destron. And as I was saying, it came out in 1990 and it was part of what's known as the Zone toy line. So whilst Hasbro in the States and the rest of the world were just releasing Micromasters and things like that, these two, of course, continued making Micromasters, but they made huge bases. Now, this guy, as I say, is just a straight up redeco of Metroplex, but the guys you can just about make out in the background and funnily enough, in the background of the video there, just on that shelf, these are also from the Zone toy line. You've got Die Atlas, Road Fire and Sonic Bomber. And as you can see, you can combine and connect them all up to just make giant cities and huge play sets. While we're also looking at the back, we can have a look at how different a colour scheme he uses. And again, with his accessories, we can compare them just how differently they look. We've got some beautiful artwork there again of Metro Titan. And what this guy actually comes with as well is his own MicroMaster. And I'm going to show you him and compare him with the original one as well. So anything else to quickly show you? Not too sure. Just again, the play sets and the battle scenes on the back. So let's take him out. And again, I feel really privileged to be able to even hold one of these. I've got to thank Bryce Rutledge very, very much for contacting me as soon as he found out that one of these was available. And again, he let me pay for this in installments so I could basically get hold of it because the problem with some of these Japanese figures now is they just don't show up very often at all. Right, so we've got the instructions here and these are already completely different to how the standard Metroplex ones were. For those of you who remember, there was the Metroplex ones. We'll have a look at them in a bit more detail in a second. And let's carefully turn this to the side and we can see him there with all the parts let's just bring him into the light so what i'm going to do now because nobody wants to hear that horrible polystyrene sound i'm going to get all the bits out and then we can have a look at him like that right then so out in front of us this is the entire contents that was inside the packaging i'm going to show you a couple more things on the box a bit later on but what i want to start to do is show you some of the main differences with some of the accessories so we'll start off with who we know as six gun and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the equivalent and there's a bit of a reoccurring thing with this and you're going to get used to it very fast so just to start it off of course this guy's name is metro titan and what i'm going to make for you now is metro shot and this is of course the version of six gun so you can see straight away we've got a bit of color difference so we've got the white legs for the guns instead of the i suppose it's like a beige isn't it the beigey red and of course the chest plate is um, a completely different colour, this blue for Metro Shot. And then the guns, these are still the same, which is good to see. We're just going to attach that there. So as I say, this is Metro Shot. I'm going to stick him right next to Six Gun. We don't need his fists yet, we'll look at them in a second. So there's Metro Shot. Now we're going to have a look at Metro Tank. And the original version of him was Slammer. So Slammer is this guy who, funnily enough, has just got a reissue during the Kingdom lineup. So here is Metro Tank. So this has also got the fold-out bit, which is blue instead of white. And then, of course, the turret is there. So he's totally blue, 
huge difference between them two exactly the same but again just the colors are very different we're going to move on to metro dash who is the equivalent to scamper told there's a bit of a reoccurring theme with these names so here he is but again totally different color scheme there's the bright red carefully pull it over same thing though no more extra detail no more extra colors um, and in fact funnily enough the arms as you can see are still the same color so these are still black it's just the main part of the body uh, let's just connect these in and also the same gun so you've got the smaller gun which is there which we can put in one hand i don't think that's ever been put in there before that was really difficult and then the larger gun again and i'm just going to pretty much rest them there and then i think the final thing is known as metro bomb now this one might have you a bit confused and that's because there wasn't one of these with the standard metroplex metro bomb is this little guy <coughs> excuse me so metro bomb is the little micromaster because again these are all play sets and the extra part that this came with which metroplex didn't was a connecting ramp so you can connect these up and again as you can see on the pictures and as you can do with micromaster play sets of the original vintage ones and of course the new ones in the kingdom and the um earth rise lineup you can connect everything up with these ramps so he came with the extra ramp and this guy's name is metro bomb and he is a redeco of the micromaster that was used on sky stalker so for those of you who've forgotten there is the hasbro sky stalker and there is metro bomb so there are your main differences in the main accessories and the rest of the bits as you can see will just be different colors so i'm just going to move these out of the way and we're going to go straight to metro titan himself so moving on to actual metro titan himself this is how he came out of the box so there's just a couple of things that we need to do we need to extend his arms there like so and that's just fell open but what i'm going to do is bring this closer to you because i want to show you the decepticon logo there on his chest you can see he's got the different colored eyes and we'll turn these around because they were folded down while he was in the box we've still got the missiles there which come out of his chest but what we'll do now is we will pop on nice and carefully move. in fact i'll start to attach all the parts so the knee guards are blue in this particular case these will attach exactly the same as your standard metroplex what i'm going to do in a second is get metroplex put him next to him just so you can see uh, the major differences in the color scheme the fists with these are it's it is red but it's it's not like a bright red obviously these fit in at the bottom like so and there we go now when i display my normal metroplex i display him i suppose like this like a powered up mode so i do fold down the guns i've pulled a metro shot apart just so again i can take these weapons and show you how they all fit pretty much on him the good thing about this figure is you can put so many things on him you can really power him up like we're doing struggling trying to reach around on this i'm going to pick him up and put the gun in that's better i don't think as i say these have ever done this before what we've got on the top here if i just quickly fold that down now you can see i'm going to roll this over and there of course is more artillery and then we've got the shoulder adapter well the cannon part which is going to go there i probably need to pan back a little bit then we've got this bit this is going to attach to the back of him i'll show you in a second but there's also a hole there you can see i'm going to connect that in this particular part and then when i spin him around that's where i'm going to be connecting this part to as i said it just powers him up it just makes him look brilliant and then i suppose the final parts um would be the guns which fit into the side now the again the brilliance of this figure this is before i suppose now they're known as battle masters fossilizers everything like that there's so many holes and ports on this so you can pretty much do what you can do now with the fossilizers you can just power absolutely everything up so there's your standard metroplex let's move him over make sure he doesn't fall over i suppose you can turn the knee pads around the other way i probably should have to be honest let's do that turn them around that way and yeah there we go they do actually fit <coughs> better that particular way and click that into place and of course we've got the firing missiles like so 
which would fit into the guns. These would come on a sprue, three in a sprue. Unfortunately, I don't have the sprue. Uh, so they must have been played with at some point. And then the only pieces which you're pretty much left over with are these little bits, well, the rest of them. Let's bring these up just to conclude this segment of the video anyway. Typical, gonna fall over, gonna balance in there. And then what we're gonna do it's because of that, isn't it? There we go, that's counterbalanced him. We're going to bring this part of the video to a close. We're going to come back and he's going to be in one of his other modes. So what I've got him in ready is, I suppose it's referred to as the mobile battle station mode. And that is because it is mobile and it does move along. Before we have a complete look at that, though, I want to show you something on the box. And this is something that I think is brilliant that they ended up doing with Japanese figures. Uh, you'll note on the back there that there's no tech specs. There's no robot points and stuff, but they still had them. And what they actually did was they put them on the inside of the flaps, which you can see there. So there was the robot points on the back of this particular side. And again, ingenious idea. It just meant that you didn't have to cut up the box, etc. And on this side, with it being a Japanese figure, and again, for those of you who are unaware, you always tended to get a collector's card as well, which again looks stunning. And there is, of course, his tech spec. So they do still come with them. They were just tucked nicely and I suppose very ingeniously away there so you didn't see them. One quick thing I have noticed on the back of this is that the tank, so Metro tank, on the picture here you can see there he does have a white turret still but on the actual physical, oh there he is and again with the white turret but the physical in hand finished product is all blue. So let's see if I can pick this up and get it on screen. So this would be him coming towards you. Yep, there you go. There's the large guns. The rest of the guns are all attached to the side. It's just a brilliant little bonus mode, to be honest. And um, what I've done, <coughs> excuse me, with Metro Dash. This is something I used to do with Scamper all the time. I used to put the arms and attach the guns underneath because then he really does give him a load of firepower. So that one's attached underneath. This one's attached at the top. And again, just exactly that reason. If you've got a rolling battle fortress and it's all coming towards you you might as well do the same with the rest of the figures which is exactly what i've just done but as i mentioned before you can see that you've still got holes where you can attach everything pull everything down pull these bits there you go pull the missiles out there as well just just a great toy so what we're going to do now we're going to come back and he's going to be in his major uh, I suppose battle, not battle, his city mode. We're going to have a look at him in city mode and then I'm going to combine him up with some other figures as well to make him a super city. So then here he is in base mode and I've partially attached all of the things to it. I want to show you some as well in hands. You can see me actually attaching them. Before we do that, I want you to have just a quick look at these stickers here and on the helipad because these are actual different stickers that were compared to Metroplex. And I'll just show you Metroplexes here. Metroplexes were much smaller and much more close together, where of course Metro Titans, you can see, were spaced out a bit more. And I suppose that made them look a little more realistic. Now, again, there's other things we can attach to this. We can attach the knee guards like so. We can then attach these large weapons to it. And while we're here, I wanna show you this quickly. Um, this is again a Takara product, so there's no safety laws with regards to these firing out and there is a load of venom in these. So they launch really quite far. Um, yeah, you can attach them either side. What we're going to do now is we're going to take what was Metro tank. We're going to take the top part. We're going to so we're going to take this apart, open up this part here at the front. And now we can turn this into a tower like so. I've already attached the tower bit back there. We're basically just making this look a lot more like a city. We can put another knee guard here over the top. We can attach this. Again, you can just keep building and building and adding and adding to it all the time. With this ramp here, we can put who would be known as Metro Dash. Of course, he's the red scamper in there. If we press this button here, he gets launched out. Brilliant. Again, the Japanese really went to town with what I would call play sets and play features where you can add loads and loads of additional things. So I'm gonna put flat top up there on the helipad, even though he's a jet. And now we're gonna look at something else that again, it's just brilliant, it's ingenious. What I'm gonna do, in fact, I'll take this off just so you can see. 
What we can then do is take some of the leaders from Scramble City. So this is Motormaster and this is him in his base mode. And you can see you've got a little connector there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that there. If I lift this up now, you'll be able to see that that's connected. And we've again added something else to give this another base factor. Now, the second part, in fact, you can probably just about make out under there that there is a cutout. And what we can then do, if I need to push this all back, I'm going to take Onslaught. I'm going to take this off actually just for now, pop it on this side. That'll fit in there. And we've got Onslaught here. This time, Onslaught's head becomes the connector. So this is going to fit inside there like so. That's connected up. Let's take the ramp. Let's attach this here. And what we've now got again is an even bigger base. You can just keep adding more and more to it. And the fun thing about this was the Takara versions had launch mechanisms. So if that's gonna, I can't reach this, I can. You might've heard that just clicked in. What I'm gonna do, in fact, let's go with the MicroMaster again. So let's pop him there. And if I press this button, there you go. He's launched down the ramp. Now in Japan, the MicroMasters came in sets like this and what's missing from there is what I'm about to show you is one of these little trucks and again these had launching mechanisms to fire them out this one isn't the one to that set but again you can connect all these up have them all as part of this just to build huge huge cities the weapons as well for Metro Titan were all huge and had this same port so again they could be used with the scramble city bots so like this these will all fit into the hands oops there we go of the large combiners from scramble city they've got the same size ports so what you've really got again is just a ginormous play set it's huge <coughs> excuse me you can mix and match everything these weapons can go on the side still if you want them to they can go in the top, anywhere you've got these ports and all of these particular connectors. You can even connect Hotspot and Silverbolt to it if you wanted, just to build, again, a huge, huge playset. Right, I think that's enough on the base mode. We're going to come back now. He's going to be in his robot mode, and I'm going to show you how he can do something similar in his robot mode. So here we go, we're back. And just before we have a quick look at the robot to finish and how we turn him into super strong mode, I just want to do a quick box comparison for you because the Japanese seem to do this with everything. They manage to compact everything much, much smaller. There is the standard Metroplex box, which you can see is much, much bigger. It's bigger in height, it's bigger in length. It's pretty much, again, bigger in all aspects, but with the standard Takara Metroplex box, ironically enough, this again is the same height and size as Metro Titan's box. So the box is a bit smaller than your standard Metroplex um, box that you would have seen with Hasbro. Let's just move this down and out of the way. So, and be able to get this into focus now. So going back to Metro Titan himself, this is obviously his robot mode and how I would usually, and I'm going to be displaying him with all these bits attached. Now, what I'm about to show you now, this was actually in the first Metroplex's instructions. It was called, um, I just read it, didn't I? Super mode, super robot mode or super power mode. What you can do is take the knee guards off, take the two arm pieces off. And again, what you would then do is you take your Scramble City bots like so, and then you'd literally just use this as you would a combiner. So you can fold him out like so. You can then attach him Ooh, nice and careful. Let's see if he'll go in. Typical. <laughs> I don't think this has ever been done either. There we go. So you can attach this and then you can attach loads of weapons to it all if you want. You can literally take all of your combiner limbs. So I've got a complete mixture here. I've got drag strip that I'm about to connect to the side as well over here. There's no space with this big guy. And then at the front, you can already tell that they look very similar to the joints on the rest of the Scramble City as they are known combiners. I'm just here now trying to get brawls out. I'm going to get Breakdown's head out because it's easier. And you can connect all of these into position. Um, admittedly, it does look 
a little bit more impressive when it's um, Metroplex and he's got the superior jets around him. But again, it just really shows that they went to town with the meaning of this scramble city, scramble limbs, mixture, everything up and around as much as you possibly could. So you could also attach Brawl there, but I'm not going to now. I'm just going to start to take him a ball apart and round up on exactly how I'm going to be displaying him, which is again, with all the parts attached with them all looking really good. Again, the color scheme works really, really well. I really prefer these. I do prefer them. I say the white guns rather than the uh, maroon. <laughs> I think I called them beige earlier. I meant the maroon color with them, but there he is. I'm going to be doing a separate transformation video Again, to keep the length of this video down, I didn't bother with it. I'm going to be doing it separately and I will just go literally through all of the modes in one complete video for you. If you want to see them, I'll be doing that no problem whatsoever. So here he is, Metro Titan, Metro Shot, Metro Tank, Metro Dash and little old Metro Bomb there. So I hope you enjoyed looking at him. I hope it helped you. Um, well, yeah, I hope you find it educational because it is quite a bit different to Metroplex rather than just a straight up redeco. There's a few more extra bits that you can see you can use really well. And again, just a great play set, a great bit of fun. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.